It's eight years since Joe Hitchcock threw a dart in a contest. Nowadays, England's number one player throws four-inch nails instead. He throws them for preference at his old pal Tom Leith, and Tom's just about found his match. The four inches whiz past at 80 miles an hour, and Tom hasn't even insured his nose. It's a blessing to landlords, and to charities too, for turning Tom into a kiosk has brought in 30,000 pounds for St. Dunstan's alone. That's worth a clip behind the ears. Give him a hand, he'll need one after Joe's next trick. A nap hand, and Tom's hoping he won't stick. Nice work, Joe, but no more than you'd expect from a man who went out in his last game with a treble 20, a treble 19, and a bull. Now it's a case of double or quits. The crowd's filling up nicely, ready for Joe's latest trick, a hangover from the days when it was a penny on the bottle. Now the charge has doubled itself, Tom switched over to gobstoppers. His teeth are on edge as the coin drops, but now it's time for the most dangerous trick Joe's ever performed. If he hasn't got his eye in, well, neither will Tom after he's thrown the next nail. He calls this trick, the skin off your nose. It's tough when a cameraman has to take the place of his victims, but that often happens when they can't bear the sight of a lens. Joe's promoting him to nail throw his mate. If it's thrills he's wanting, it's thrills he'll get. Now he feels like the knife thrower's daughter who stuck her neck out where she didn't order. But what an original way to claim danger money.